Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can you design this batch type logo design in Inkscape 1.0. So let's continue with today's tutorial. So first of all, if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this, then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options must be turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties, select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width of your page to 1280 and height to 720 pixels and simply left click on this cross icon like this. Now the presence of two menus is very important in Inkscape for each and every project. The first one is fill and stroke menu, simply left click on this icon. And the second one is align and distribute menu, simply left click on this icon. And you can see that both of these menus are appearing on the right side of your screen. Now left click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this. Now left click on this icon which says create stars and polygons. Then first of all left click on this cross icon to reset all the shape parameters like this. Then select the number of corners to 12 and press enter. Now drag your mouse cursor at the center of your page. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard. Then hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse in downward direction like this. Now select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and here you can see that we have the option for the width and the height. First left click on this icon to lock the dimensional parameters like this. Then set the value of height to 500 pixels and press enter. Then select edit path by notes tool with the left click of mouse and you can see that small square icon is appearing here. Hold down your left mouse button at this icon and drag your mouse in downward direction up to the point like this. Then go to path and select object to path. Now again go to path and select path effects. Scroll down and here you can see that path effects menu is appearing on the bottom of right side of your screen. Simply left click on this icon. Scroll down and here we have a small icon of plus which says add path effect. Simply left click on this icon and here you can see that we have the option for the corners, fillet, chamfer. Simply left click on this path effect and you can see that green colored nodes are appearing on every corner of your shape. Now on the right side of your screen, there are different options and here we have the option for the radius. Simply left click on this plus icon and increase the value up to the 9 like this. Then again go to path and select object to path. Now we doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by left clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and left clicking on this black color like this. Then go to fill and stroke menu then left click on stroke style select the width unit to pixels and set the value to 10 pixels and press enter. Now select the selection tool with the left click of mouse. Now right click on your shape and select duplicate. Now again go to path and select path effects. Then left click on this plus icon and in the search bar simply write off set. Then left click on this offset menu. Then select the edit path by node tool with the left click of mouse and you can see that a small circular icon is appearing on the top of your shape. Simply hold down the left mouse button on this circular icon and drag your mouse in upward direction like this. Now scroll down and go to fill and stroke menu. In stroke style simply increase the value of width to 20 pixels and press enter. Now again hold down your left mouse button at this icon and drag it in downward direction up to this point like this. Now go to path and select object to path. Then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse. Select both of these shapes. Again go to path and select stroke to path. Now change their color to differentiate between the parts. Simply left click on this outer boundary and assign it this red color. Then select this black boundary and assign it this blue color like this. Now select the pen tool with the left click of mouse. Left click at this position. Hold down the control key on your keyboard and drag your mouse in downward direction up to this point and again left click then press enter on the keyboard. Now select the selection tool with the left click of mouse. Then select all of these shapes. Scroll down and select align and distribute menu. From the relative to select last selected and left click on this icon which says center on vertical axis and also on this one which says center on horizontal axis. Then deselect all of these shapes by left clicking on the white area like this 
and only select this line with the left click of mouse then go to path and select path effects then simply left click on this small icon and in the search bar simply write rotate and left click on this rotate copies like this and here we have different options appearing on the right side of your screen simply set the value of rotation angle to 0 0.5 and set the number of copies to 60 and press enter on the keyboard then go to path and select object to path then scroll down and select fill and stroke menu with the left click of mouse in the fill and stroke menu simply increase the value of width from 1 to 10 pixels like this then go to path and select object to path again go to path and select stroke to path now press z on the keyboard to select zoom in and out tool then hold down your left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse like this then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse Deselect this shape by left clicking on the white area like this. Now hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click once on this red shape and again left click on these black lines like this. Then left click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows. Then go to path and select difference like this. Now select both of these shapes. Go to path and select union. Now select the rectangle tool with the left click of mouse. Hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse in direction like this we doesn't need the stroke so hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this cross icon like this then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and here we have the option for the width and the height first deselect this lock icon by left clicking on this then change the unit of width 650 pixels and press enter and for the height 140 pixels and press enter now again select both of these shapes scroll down and select align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and left click on this icon which says center on vertical axis and also on center on horizontal axis like this. Now select the pen tool with the left click of mouse, left click once at this position, hold down your control key, then move your mouse cursor to the downward direction and again left click at this position then press enter on the keyboard. Then select the selection tool, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click once on this rectangle like this. Again go to align and distribute menu and left click on this icon which says center on vertical axis like this. Then go to path and select division. Now deselect both of these shapes by left clicking on the white area and left click on this left part and press delete on the keyboard like this. Now select edit path by node tool with the left click of mouse then left click on this rectangle then again left click in the middle of these two nodes like this. Then left click on this icon which says insert new node into selected segments like this and you can see that a new node is appearing between these two nodes now deselect these nodes by left clicking on the white area then hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down your left mouse button at this node and drag your mouse toward the left side of your screen up to this point like this now select the selection tool with the left click of mouse right click on this shape and select duplicate then drag the duplicated copy at this position and left click on this icon flip selected objects horizontally like this. Now we want to place this corner at this corner. For this purpose we have to turn on the snapping options. So first of all left click on this icon which says enable snappings. Then left click on this icon which says snap to paths and nodes. Then left click on this icon which says snap to rectangle corners like this. Then hold down your left mouse button at this shape and drag it towards this corner like this. Now select both of these shapes. Go to path and select union. Now right click on this shape and select cut. Then go to edit and select paste in place. Then select both of these shapes. Go to path and select difference. Again go to edit and select paste in place like this. Now we doesn't need the fill so cancel it by left clicking on this cross icon like this and assign it some stroke color by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and left clicking on this black color like this. Now scroll down and select fill and stroke menu with the left click of mouse. Select the value of width to 10 pixels and press enter. Now go to path and select path effects. Then left click on this plus icon. In the search bar simply write corner. And left click on this corners fillet chamfer like this. And left click on this plus icon to increase the value of radius up to 6 pixels like this. Then go to path and select object to path. 
then left click on this icon which says create and edit text objects like this and then left click on your page like this and simply write Inkscape in the capital letters and change the font style from here simply deselect this value and write TW Sen MT and left click on this and here we have the option for the normal and bold dimensions simply left click on this drop down menu and select these bold dimensions and here we have the option for the size simply set the value of size to 60 pixels and press enter and here we have the option for the spacing between the alphabets simply select its value to 25 pixels and press enter then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and now disable the snapping options by left clicking on this icon like this then drag your text up to the center like this then select the pen tool with the left click of mouse then left click at this position hold down the control key on your keyboard and move your mouse towards the right side of your screen up to this point like this and press enter on the keyboard then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse move your mouse cursor to the right side of your screen scroll down and left click on this fill and stroke menu and simply increase the value of width to 6 pixels and press enter then go to path and select stroke to path then right click on this line and select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy up to this point like this now select these two lines and this text again scroll down and select align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and then left click on this equal vertical gaps like this then go to path and select combine now again left click on this icon which says create stars and polygons then left click on this icon to reset all the shape parameters like this now hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse in upward direction like this we doesn't need the stroke so hold down the shift key on your keyboard and left click on this cross icon like this and assign it some solid color by left clicking on this black color like this then go to path and select object to path and select the selection tool with the left click of mouse like this and move this star in the center of the shape like this now again press Z on the keyboard to select zoom in and out tool then hold down your left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse towards this position like this now select the selection tool with the left click of mouse now we will decrease the dimensions of this star for this purpose hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag your mouse in upward direction like this now right click on this star and select duplicate then hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down your left mouse button at the duplicated copy and drag it towards the right side of your screen like this again right click and select duplicate again hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down your left mouse button at the duplicated copy and drag it towards the left side of your screen like this then select these three stars and left click on this icon which says equal horizontal gaps like this then go to path and select object to path again go to path and select union now left click on this icon which says create and edit text objects then left click at your page and simply write n.2020 again change the font to tw sen mt left click on this then left click on this drop down menu and select bold and set the dimensions to 20 pixels and press enter and here we have the option for the spacing simply set the value of spacing to 5 pixels and press enter then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and drag your text at this position and your stars at this position now again hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag your mouse in upward direction to decrease the dimensions of the star like this now left click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this now again press z on the keyboard to select zoom in and out tool then hold down your left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse like this now again left click on this icon which says create and edit text objects then left click at the page and simply write vector graphics you can write any text of your choice then simply change the font to tw send empty then left click on this drop down menu and select bold change the text size to 20 pixels and press enter 
and here we have the option for the spacing simply set the value to 3 pixels and press enter then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse then right click and select duplicate and drag the duplicated copy at this point again left click on this icon which says create and edit text objects then simply select these alphabets and change them to open source and then select the selection tool with the left click of mouse and drag it towards this position and also for this one up to this position like this then left click on this icon which says zoom to fit page in windows like this now hold down your left mouse button at this position and drag your mouse towards this position to select these objects like this then in the align and distribute menu simply left click on this icon which says center on vertical axis like this now select all of these shapes then go to path and select stroke to path again go to path and select combine now this is our final design you can change its color to some different color like this light red color this is better now this is our final batch type logo design and if you want to download the editable source file of this design then you can download this by visiting the link in the description and now if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel and also share your thoughts about the design in the comments section. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.